Hey, so now let's use the scale tool for not just increasing the size and decreasing the size so that the proportions stay the same, but to use it to distort or stretch or squish something. You can also use it for that reason. So come on over here, orbit and pan over to the side here where we had this box that we played around with before. And watch what happens when we use the scale tool in a different way. Take the select tool, select all proportions of this box three times and you'll grab the length and the width and the height. Now, when it turns blue, go to the scale tool, type scale, and you'll see the yellow box around that box. You'll see all the green points that will allow you to either scale it on the end points for uniform scale about opposite points. That means if you drew a line diagonally through this box down to its opposite corner, it would keep everything in proportion to one another. It'd still look like this. But if you grab these midpoints, green, blue scale about opposite points. Okay, that means the Z and blue axis scale about opposite point. You grab that and pull it down, and all of a sudden you're changing the shape of this box. You're squishing it. It's kind of like push pulling it. And it's hard to really see the difference with a box because it's still going to look like a box. It's either going to be longer or flatter or shorter. But you can really see the difference with Control Z, this same technique on a cylinder. Okay? So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I want to select this cylinder one, two, three, and I grabbed all three dimensions of it. I'll explain those lines later in another tutorial. Now I'll go to the scale tool and watch what happens when you squish this cylinder and flatten it or pull it longer. And now you don't have a circular cylinder anymore. You have an oval. You got a hockey puck if you paint it black. You have a tic-tac. <laughs> you got a bunch of cool stuff going on with the stretching and distorting features of the scale tool. Again, in order to do that, you don't grab the corner points. You grab any midpoint, any in-between point. Okay? Any in-between point. I can grab that middle of that face and stretch this thing out. I can grab the middle of this top face and stretch this thing out. And I would end up back with a cylinder like I started. But... Grab the midpoint on the side and push it in, and you've got this long, narrow oval. Started with a circle, push pulled it into a cylinder, and then use the scale tool after selecting all of its dimensions to distort its shape instead of just scaling its shape. So that's fun, man. You can do that with a lot of different stuff, hexagonal forms and all of that. This is not unlike the what you can do with the move tool where you move an edge and pull it and elongate it this next thing i'm about to show you control z that back to where we were and let's not select the entire dimensions of this thing but instead select just the top face and this is how you can create that same effect that we did with the move tool where you ran around this edge in lesson 10 and you found just that sweet spot that didn't have the whole thing highlighted blue. It had just one point and you pulled it in and you're able to turn a cylinder into a cone. Well, you can do that with the scale tool if you select just the top shape, not the whole thing. Scale just this top shape on a midpoint and you're not scaling it, you're stretching it and collapsing it and pulling it in. Now you've got like a conical. Oh, that's kind of cool form. It's almost like wider on one edge than it is on another. Yeah, you can pull this out here and pull that out there. And you can have it wider at the base and longer and flatter on one side on the top. That's fun. So that's a way that you can actually get to distorting and stretching these things in a really fun way using the scale tool. This is not so unlike how we use the move tool to not just move something, but to, to move faces of it in different distorted ways. It's really fun. So when you know how to use these tools, all of your forms and all of your shapes become very elastic and you can play around with it like origami. See you for the next one.